Hey everyone, Beth with Crafty Corner and today we're going to make this faux rhinestone bride robe using holographic vinyl. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is measure to decide how big of an image we want on our robe. I purchased this SVG off of Etsy and uploaded it into Design Space. Then I'm going to change the dimensions to the what we just decided for our measurements and we'll hit make it. Holographic vinyl needs to be cut on a mat. We are using iron-on holographic so we need to mirror both colors, both mats here. Go back to the first one and we'll hit continue. Then it's searching for my machine and we're going to hit browse all materials. Let's go ahead and find holographic iron-on. Go ahead and click that. Done. This is Cricut's new flat pack of holographic iron-on vinyl. Comes in the six different sheets, 12 by 12. You can see that this side is shiny, but definitely not as shiny as this side. We wanna make sure we put the more shiny side down onto our mat. Then we have it loaded in our machine and let's get cutting. Next we want to weed our design, just being super careful, using our weeder to push down any pieces that are moving around. I think if I did this project again, I would definitely select more pressure when it comes to this holographic iron-on. Um, I think it might have cut a little bit better with more pressure. I always like to check the Cricut heat guide so I know exactly what temperature and hot for how long. So we'll select holographic iron-on and the robe is polyester. I also have a Cricut pressing mat so we'll hit that and click apply. So it's telling us 330 degrees for 30 seconds. We'll turn on our easy press and we'll make sure that it's to the correct thing. It is 3.30 for 30 seconds, so let's get it warmed up. I have my Easy Press mat, and I'm going to find the center of the robe so I know where to place my design. So I like to just fold it in half and create a crease down the middle right in half. Um, this helps me find the middle because I can also fold the design in half and line those lines up. Perfectly.
Once it's pressed down nice and well, I'm gonna put a piece of butcher paper over the design here and our easy press is all heated up. Making sure it's lined up. We will have to press it twice because I only have the nine by nine easy press. Um, but that's easy to do. You just have to press it twice for 30 seconds. So let's get one side. Then we're just gonna carefully slide it over and make sure we get the rest of the design. And again, for another 30 seconds. Then we can lift off our easy press, remove the butcher paper. Then we're gonna let it cool for just a little bit. And then as soon as it's cool to the touch, we can remove that lining piece. We're going to do the same concept with our little diamond here, placing it where we want it. Butcher paper. We definitely want to make sure that the rest of the design is covered because it's not protected any longer without that lining piece. And go ahead and heat it for 30 seconds. Let that last piece cool. And then we can remove the lining once it's cool. I love that it gives the look of the rhinestones without actually having to place all the tiny little pieces. Such a fun project. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, give us a comment below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe.